had here i have taken a number 1 in the first cell and now we want to generate a series we'll go to the series option here and in this i'll choose columns now and i have taken the linear option only because earlier when i was taking rows it was generating series in the rows now i am taking column and in the column i am asking it to generate the first 15 numbers first 15 numbers in linear progression so it is just going to add one every time so i've got till 15 till 15 i have been able to generate the number i'll do control z i'll again go to series again go to series and this time i'll give a gap of say 10 numbers right and stop value i want to give as 100 and i'll say okay and i have taken columns i need to take columns here if i say okay you'll see that it started adding 10 every time and it stopped at 91 because after 91 it should have gone to 101 right friends now the next one i will select and let's see the next option here what i'm doing is I am going to the series option and now I am clicking on the growth. I am clicking on the growth option. So when I click on the growth option and I take the columns, it is asking me what should be the step value. And if I say the step value is 4, now since it is growth, to get the next num number, it will multiply by 4. 1, 4, 4, 4, 4, 16 and so on. And I will ask it to go till 5000 and i'll click on ok so see what it has done 1 4 4 4 4 16 16 4 64 it has started a growth series and it has stopped at 4096 because when it multiplies this by 4 it will reach 16000 and we have said that the stop value should be 5000 so it has stopped before 5000 i'll say control z control z and now we will select some cells these many cells we have selected and then again we are giving the same option for series and is bar mein, is this time I am going to say column 1, the growth is 5 and here I give a number of 1 lakh. Right, I give a number of 1 lakh, I say growth and in the column and I say ok. So you will see that it started generating the numbers but though I have selected till here but since it completed at 78,000 it stopped at this point because after this it will cross 3 lakh. And our number, last number limit was 1 lakh. So in this way, you can create any kind of series, a growth or a linear series. And in a row or a column, you can do it. And by giving the actual values, whatever are required, you can generate any kind of series. Now we look at some date series here. Let's look at some date series here. Let me give a date. 1st January 2023. Right? I've given a date here. Now I go to the series option and I click on the series and here what I am asking it is that in a column give me with step value 1 and stop at 20th January 2023. So I am asking it to generate a calendar from 1st to 20th of January 23 and I say ok and you can see that it has generated a calendar from 1st January to 20th January. Now, if I use the same date, control C, control V, if I paste it here, control V, and I want to generate now only weekdays. By weekdays, what it means is it will generate dates only for the days which are falling between Monday to Friday. It will exclude Saturday and Sunday because we are asking it to generate only weekdays. So let me select this. Let me go to the series option and let me click here and I will select the column step value is 1 stop value is again 20th January 2023 20th January 2023 here instead of day I will select weekday and I will say ok so now you can see 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th right then 7th and 8th it has given a skip 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, then 14, 15 are skipped. So it is only giving me days for Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday it is take it is excluding them. Okay. Now, now what we will do, I'll just put the same date. 
and I will see the next option which is like month. I will go to the series. I will click on the series option. I will click on columns. Step value is 1 and I will select the month here. Month here. Right. And in the stop value, let me say 0, 1, 1, 2 and 2023. 2023. So what I have said is till 1st December 2023, I want it to generate the month dates. And let me say OK and see what happens. So here it has given me 1st January, 1st February, 1st March, 1st April, 1st May, 1st June. This way it has created the 12 dates leaving one month because I asked it to give me monthly dates. 